Hey everyone, welcome back to Historical Stitching Techniques. Today we're going to talk about the running stitch. So that's all coming up. Alrighty, so I start a running stitch by tying a very simple knot in the back of my thread. In this instance, I'm using a plain coarse linen which is commercially available and I'm using just a plain linen thread. So for uh, tutorial purposes this should be fine. My own personal background is I was a cutter and uh, pattern maker for a company called Arctis Limited in the United Kingdom uh, for approximately a year or so and I also did a degree of engineering and product design. I've worked uh, professionally in textiles um, for some time uh, beyond that having run my own company called Saber Industries uh, and now I do a lot of um, hand sewn historical garments so that's that's me that's my background and let's look at um, the running stitch. Okay, the running stitch uh, is just a very very simple stitch. It's not very structural. In other words, it doesn't actually have a lot um, of, of weight bearing or load bearing capacity. Uh, but it's a great so um, it's a great stitch to use when you're assembling garments and you're wanting to do trial fittings and that kind of thing. So uh, whilst you're putting something together. And then if you decide, you know what, I need to move a seam here or there, or I need to take some off on, on this particular seam, then this is a, a really great stitch to use. Okay, so the way that we approach a, um, a running stitch, now I'm simply going to use it just on top of this fabric here. Now historically, um, my focus is the 9th, 10th and 11th uh, centuries AD really sort of Western Europe I suppose um, being basically what is today France Germany Italy England Scotland Wales Ireland those kind of places so um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and we're going to talk about um, some of the historical background of this particular stitch and the fact that it's been seen uh, it's, it's been found in extent, that is, um, garments that have been found by archaeologists. Okay, now, um, historically, a stitch length of around about six millimeters or one quarter of an inch is about accurate. The main thing here is just to keep your stitch length um, consistent. Uh, now, I'm not always the best at that, I've got to be honest with you. Um, but, it, it, as I say, I use this when I'm... Um, putting seams together more so than anything else. So um, this isn't like a finishing thing. This isn't usually something that someone is going to see. Uh, and clearly I'm not normally going to use red thread on top of white fabric. Uh, certainly not, certainly not for a, um, a finished garment. Rightio. Um, now there's a couple of quick points that I'll just raise. If you are new to a particular group, within the medieval reenactment, maybe you're trying to look at Vikings or Saxons or Normans or whoever it is you're trying to look at, um, I strongly recommend that you get in touch um, with the organization and ask for what is called an authenticity guide. An authenticity guide is a, is, is a guide by that particular group around what they expect in terms of fabrics, and textile garments and um, a whole gamut of different things actually. It can include things like weapons, footwear, all this kind of stuff. And um, so the, the more detailed one of these sort of guides is, 
the, the better your reenactment impression can be. Because what you're doing is you're kind of um, ensuring your work is to their standard. Uh, and I've even heard of some groups within LARP, that is live action role play, and some within the SCA, that is the Society of Creative Anarchism, um, having authenticity guides around what they expect. And that's fair enough. Um, so really good um, to get hold of something like that. Okay, now when we're just coming up to finish something like this, uh, I normally just go back over um, one stitch and tie a very simple knot. Now um, we'll just talk very, very quickly around, there we go. Uh, I got these lovely brass needles from a company called Make Your Own Medieval. They're fantastic. Highly recommend them. Uh, all right, so there we go, that's done. Um, Right, so the, the issue with this seam is if a thread is pulled, then sometimes um, you will gather the fabric together and so on. And clearly, you don't want to do that. Alrighty, guys, so um, this is a, a fantastic stitch to use during your garment construction. I don't normally use it on visible seams, but it's a, it's a really good a sort of skill to have. Uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing back from you as to what kind of garments you're producing. Please leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.